Hello, welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. Hi, I'm Masha. We have a few binoculars here on this desk here, and that is because we are going to talk about uh, a distinctive feature found in binoculars today. About the bridge design, that is. So we have single bridge designs and we have open bridge designs when it comes to binoculars. And we'll get to the differences really shortly. But first, a little bit of history behind the feature. Yeah, so binoculars with single bridge design have been in production si since ever. They are the most common binoculars with a single bridge in the uh, offer. Yes. And then in 1999, Swarovski introduced the first generation of EL binoculars, which featured an open bridge design, which was a revelation in the field of binoculars. So, Andras, what are the differences between open bridge and single bridge? Well, the first difference is definitely in the handling. If we mm -hmm. look like this, it's much easier to hold open bridge binoculars in one hand and still reach the focusing knob with your index finger than it is with the single bridge design. Um, if you have shorter fingers, you won't be able to manage that. And if you have binoculars strapped around your body or around your neck, it is much e you have them at hand if they feature an open bridge because you can simply lift them up and have them ready for observations in no time. With these ones, it's difficult. You also tend to use both hands when doing that, so it's a little bit more complicated. So, easier handling with open bridge. So, um, then open bridge design is especially handy when, I don't know, cycling or hiking, maybe? Of course, maybe? of course. In, in situations where you often uh, put your binoculars up and down. Yeah, so yeah. in these situations, it's really great. Okay. Then we have weight. Um, because this middle part here is missing with the open bridge, they are lighter than the ones with single bridge designs, especially the versions which have a longer, mm -hmm. longer uh, bridge in the middle. And okay, the next difference, will you explain it? So probably the yeah. in which configurations can we find each of these two? Yeah, so as you know, op uh, single bridge design is found in all the categories of binoculars. Uh, the difference is with open bridge design, we have those in mainly full size binoculars, so 8x42, 10x42, also uh, low light uh, binoculars, 8x56, we have some examples. Even though they're rarer? They're right? rarer, yeah. Um, I forgot uh, the compact binoculars, we have uh, open bridge design uh, found in uh, the, the category of compact binoculars, but we have no or really rarely yeah, we, there are scars yes. in pocket category. So as you can see, yes. uh, this is one of the few pocket binoculars with an open bridge design. This is Minox 8x25X Active. Yes, but I think that the open bridge here with, co with po pocket binoculars is uh, useless. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Because the you can't put your whole hand like here with full-sized yeah. uh, binoculars between the barrels. Here you can only... Uh, only, put only put two fingers yeah, two in between, fingers, yeah. yeah. So uh, we, we think that it mostly has to do with aesthetics, yes. not so much with handling. Yes. So um, that's why in pocket binoculars you much more often find a single bridge design. Yeah. The price. So um, if we take a look at the price classes, single bridge des design is found, I don't know, in 50 euro binoculars and it goes all the way up to 2000, 2500. We yeah. still find uh, single bridge design there. But the more we get uh, in the higher price classes, the more we find the open bridge design because it is linked to premium binoculars. So Swarovski EL, size Victory SF, uh, like an Octavit, Victory SF even has mm -hmm. a triple bridge. So this is a feature that is linked to premium binoculars. Okay. But there are exceptions. We also find them in lower price mm -hmm. binoculars. We find them in, I don't know, as I said, my Minox 8x25. XF Active and Citron S2 Blue Sky, which is also around 250 euros. Yeah. There are exceptions, but they're mostly we find them open bridge designs in higher prices. Yeah. So, Andras, what does the future hold? Yeah, I think that the future holds open bridge. I think mm -hmm. that mostly with time, the manufacturers will slowly switch to open bridge designs. Yeah. I, and I think that most would, would agree with me because yeah. the handling is easier, they're, li they're lighter. Yeah. They have many advantages. Maybe not in the pocket category. Yeah. In the uh, pocket category is mostly about aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next debate. Bye. Goodbye.